Hello family, welcome back for another week of the home buying process. Today I'm going to talk about notices, assessments, and municipal requirements that are part of the agreement of sale. I have with me today Becky Shoemaker. She's in the finance department with the Claritin Municipal Building. Hello Becky, how are you? Hi, how are you today? Good, good. We really appreciate you meeting with us here today. So, without further ado, here's Becky. Hello, I just would like to explain the process of getting municipal lien letters and the process you have to go through when you purchase a house in the city of Clareton. It is required to have to get no lien letters, which is a three-year tax cert and a letter on the garbage because the garbage is lienable against your property. The cost of those are $40, $20 for the three-year tax cert and then $20 for the garbage letter. And it also requires if it is a sell of property, you have to have an occupancy permit uh, uh, filled out and paid for. And as long as it's signed, we will get your lien letters out to you and within three days. The occupancy permit costs $45. There's also, if it's a business, it would be $90 for the occupancy permit. If you have questions and if it's a business or commercial piece of property, please call us and ask us the price of the lien letters because businesses are required to have dumpsters. So you wouldn't have to send in a $20 check for the garbage accounts. Um, and like I said, a business also, the occupancy permits are $90. And if there's more than, like if it's apartments, then you have to have an occupancy perm permit for each apartment. So it sometimes runs a little bit more than just the $90. It's $90 per apartment. So, and if you're doing a cash sale, you can, or buying a piece of property as is, not a cash sale, buying a piece of property as is, the buyer would have to fill out a affidavit, which is stating that they will not occupy the piece of property until it is brought to code. But an occupancy permit does need to be filled out by the seller and also paid for by the seller. We have, I would, ha would love to have anybody call and ask questions if you have one little thing that you're not sure of because I'd rather answer the questions beforehand so when that the paperwork comes in for us to do the lien letters and to do, get, to do everything that you guys need We'll have you have everything there, a complete package, because without the occupancy permit filled out, we cannot release the lien letters. We have to have that filled out beforehand because we have to have the piece of property inspected for you because of the different codes and stuff. Um, we also have a list available if you want to come and get it, and it states what the code enforcement officer is looking for. like. You have to have GFI plugs. You have to have smoke detectors. It's just a little cheat sheet to help the seller get ahead of the inspection. So when he comes in for the inspection, he looks and says, oh, we already had that all finished, mm -hmm. fixed and everything, which it's, it's, a good, it's a good tactic to do. Then, that, then your sale will go through faster. But we always require an occupancy permit to go with your lien letters unless it's unless like I said you're buying it as is then you have to have the affidavit filled out by the buyer so and honestly all you have to do is call us not all not all municipalities are the same this is how the city of Clareton works you also need to obtain a die test and a lien letter from the Clareton Municipal Authority because your sewage is leanable against your property and they require a dye test to make sure the sewage is going in the sewage and the storm sewer is going into the storm sewers. Um, they're very nice people to work with. And if, if, like I said, if you need their numbers, we have those also. I don't know the cost of theirs because that's their business, not mine. <laughs> but I just, it's just so much easier. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us. And I will answer if you want to ask for Becky myself. There's two other girls in the office. Um, they're newer, so if you want to talk to me, you can. I don't have a problem with it. And I greatly appreciate 
you doing this because I get so many requests that don't have everything completed. If it's not complete, I can't get it back out to you. Once everything is in the occupancy permit, the letters are in, you, our turnaround is normally like three days. And if you want it faxed, we'll fax it to you. If you want the email, we'll email it to you. We, we're nice people to work with. So mm -hmm. we just want to get every everything straightened out so it goes smoothly when you go to close on the piece of property. Yes. Thank you, Becky. Thanks again for coming to meet with us today. Not a problem. We really appreciate it. All of Becky's information will be down below in the description. So please, everyone, subscribe, share, like, and hit the bell for new videos. See you later, family. Bye. Bye.